Right, I'm going to put a CIS onto a Canon MP460. That's a Canon MP460, and you'll see through this setup, it's just the same as the other ones, but people have brought it in to be done, so I'm going to do a video on it. There you go, an MP460. I've done a few things that are ready to start with, so let's show you what they are. Right, I've put some clips into place. I'm just going to bring a light up so you can see in there. Can you see that clip there? Next to this hand here, this hand, straight below it, there's a little clip that's stuck on. It's easy really, you just peel the back off, it reveals a sticky bit, and you stick it on. Roughly the middle where that hand is there. I've brought this light up so you can see it a bit better. And I've put another one there, can you see that one there? That's stuck onto the left hand side of the printer. And I have stuck another one there at the front of the printer. So you've got three different... Um, sticky pads obviously they come in the kit we've got one here we've got one here and we've got one here to stop the lid crushing the pipe and stop the ink coming through there right we've got those into place we've got the cartridge carrier there we've got the CIS here these are remanufactured cartridges by the way you can't get brand new ones for the price I'm doing these at but they will last a very long time the only thing with Canon is they always show as low ink and when they do show as low ink, it will come up on the screen to press this here. It could say they are low ink, or the cartridge is empty. If it does say that, you just press this button here, continue, and it will keep printing. They're allowed to give you uh, low ink warnings, but they're not allowed to stop you doing the uh, recycling things. And basically, that's what this is. So what we've got to do is put the CIS into the printer. Now that's pretty easy because you just put the cartridges in as you normally do, straight in. Black to the left, colour to the right, and you put them in. There's a black clipped in, and there's a colour clipped in. I just unclicked it again because I've got the pipe caught there, that's my fault. Right, it's coming out to the left there, as you can see. And you got it so it, it comes back on itself like that. Let's bring this light up again because you've got no twists you must make sure there's no twists there can you see that there isn't a twist actually will that light fit on there yeah just ignore the light the white casing the light makes it easier just bring it back on itself and click it under there now you can see it's coming from the left back on itself that's all it's doing and you can you see this little bit here it just comes up to there then you bring it across and click it into this one that's clicked into place now it's coming to the left back on itself up into that clip coming around this bit here into that clip then into this clip there you go that's it into place this clip here stops this lid from going down crushing the pipe and stopping the, wind, the uh, ink from going through so we'll move that light out of the way you've got that the CIS is set up it really is as easy as that you can see it's just the same as other printers let's see if now I switch the printer on and let it go through its setup procedure because that takes a bit of time on the uh, thing I didn't want to waste time on the video I'm now just clicked OK on the uh, printer on the computer sorry ready for it to print and it is now printing the lid is down you can do it with the lid open, but you will have to go to the catch inside up here if you want to, but I can't imagine why you'd want the lid open. So I'm doing it with the lid closed so you can see that it does work perfectly okay. It's printing the um, test page, and I've got it on the high quality at the moment, so you can see that it does print good, bad, or whatever. So it's coming on the highest quality, so it will take a bit of time. While, I, um, uh, while we're printing... What I'm going to do is give you a few tips. Right, here is a bottle. Ignore that one, that's to another printer. Here is a bottle. Now there's some little air filters that go in here. I always forget them. So little air filters just plug in there. You move this little bung and you put your big one in there. The phone's ringing in the background, just ignore that. Somebody will answer it in the other room. So always remember, remove the small bung, put the air filters in there, and this, these bottles, must stay on the same level as a printer. Do not, and I'm repeating, do not have them higher. 
you will flood the printer. Another thing, all this ink on my hands, you will not get it from the CIS. The ink on my hands is from another source. We do remanufactured cartridges as well, and I've always got ink on my hands. The, the uh, printer is still printing because we have got it on high quality just to show that it's coming through, but it shouldn't be too long now. So don't forget, on this left-hand side here, they must be the same level as the printer, if you look there, on the table. Don't have them here. And put the little air filters in the top. They look like little flying saucers with a prong up and a prong down. They fit in that hole perfectly. And don't, I've just remembered something, don't let your ink run out completely. I sell it with a bit of ink in, but I include the bottles, obviously. But it's only got that bit of ink in to prevent leakage. Fill it up to about there as soon as you get it, and never let it go between below one centimetre, because it will start pulling air into the system. So you start topping up, and instructions on how to top up will be included. And there is the black, the yellow, the blue, and the red, all printed out perfectly on a piece of, well... It's very poor quality paper, actually. So we know that it's printing OK. We've got the CIS in, uh, in place. The most important thing is your bottles there with the little air filters in. You can't print with those bungs in. Make sure it doesn't go below one centimetre. Keep topping it up, and this will last you a very long time and a lot of prints. And one more thing, if it says that they're empty, just can't press that button there and carry on. It will let you carry on printing. But any problems, give us a uh, ring because the number's on at the end of the film. See